Hey everyone, in this video we are going to see what is Kaiverno and how it manages your policies in Kubernetes. If you are new to this channel, I am Kaiverno Koperkar. I make content around open source, DevOps and CNCF ecosystem. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start with a story. There is a person or a college student who wants to go to college. Cool. Uh, this is their college. Okay. And while they are going to college, they are obstructed by a middleman, which is a security guard. Security guard. Cool. And the security guard checks if the student or the person has ID card uh, or if they are in proper uniform or dress code. If it's an exam, they check if they have a hall ticket or anything like that. If they are a visitor, or uh, something like that, then they check if they have uh, permission to be there. Cool. So this middleman checks uh, every rule they have been assigned and then they let you in to the college or any facility. Perfect. So what was the reason of taking this example? So this is what Kaiverna does for the Kubernetes, right? So when uh, taking the same example, so if you are a developer, right and or devops engineer anything like that and you are trying to deploy your application so kaiverno acts as the middleman and checks if uh, your deployment has all the uh, rules or policies uh, rules are called as policies in kaivernos and that's why it's called as policy management so it checks if your deployment matches all the rules and if it passes all the rules and if it does not pass the rule uh, it doesn't let you uh, do the deployment or go further ahead and it reverts back to you and now you have to check out what all are the rules or best practices set up by the admin and do change, make changes to your deployment accordingly. And what is the benefit of this? Again, you can actually uh, control the co uh, quality of the deployment that's going inside or if you know there is certain uh, parts which will fail if a specific action is performed, you can actually prevent that, that from happening by applying policies. And Kaiverno, uh, comes with its own policies comes with its own policies and you can actually customize these policies or create entirely your uh, entirely new policies so taking a brief look into uh, what this looks like then we can consider it as a developer which is applying a manifest file say suppose this is the manifest file cool and this is the cluster this is the cluster cool and now there is a separate namespace so if you have if you are not uh, aware about what is namespace and what is cluster we have already made a video on kubernetes uh, deploying your applications to kubernetes and uh, what all are these terms so take a look at that the link will be in the description cool so the kaiverno is present here this is somewhat logo of kaiverno and the api server points to kaiverno kaiverno checks uh, if everything is according to the rule so uh, in the security we had security so this acts as a middleman and then if everything passes then it passes those things to the pods or anything uh, you are trying to deploy it goes according to that so this is how the workflow works for kaiverno and uh, this is like a brief overview of what kaiverno does it's simple it's it acts as a middleman uh, for checking and making sure that all the rules are met or uh, there is a quality that is being maintained or it tries to uh, sort out the things which may make your uh, deployment fail cool so let's go ahead and see it through a demo awesome so let's go ahead into our vs code uh, we will be using minikube for this demo so my minikube is running my docker is running as you can see it here and this is a sample of demo folder cool let's go ahead and check what is there currently in our kubernetes cluster cool so get on so i have used alias so 
the case for the alliance so make sure for that cool uh, so there is nothing at all right now let's see get namespaces so these are the namespaces we get uh, by default from the start cool and now what we are going to do is we are going to use helm to install uh, kyverno in our cluster cool uh, what is helm we will be making a separate video on that so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned with the channel cool so let's go ahead and put the commands awesome so helm install kyverno yep and create namespace this is the command you use let's hit enter awesome now we see that uh kyverno last uh, deployed etc and it's there perfect let's see what uh, namespaces do we get now see now we can get kyverno namespace and if you go to k get all minus n kyverno see uh up deployment is created with the name of kyverno and uh, i won't be going in depth into the architecture and what goes inside the namespace and how this deployment goes this is a brief overview and uh, getting you to know what is policy management and how you can implement your own policies for this video cool and so we can see the kyverno is added pretty good now let's go ahead and install kyverno policy policies so install kyverno policies and kyverno policies again this so again we are installing it to the namespace perfect let's go ahead and hit enter amazing now we have kyverno policies deployed as well so uh qctl get deploy minus n kyverno see now our kyverno is ready up and running perfect Awesome. So let's try to see if Kyverno works and how to set up the policies and how to see if the policies fail uh, when we do something wrong and passes when we correct the things. Let's go ahead and do that. Cool. So let's go ahead and create two files. First is uh, nginx.yaml. Uh, we will be doing a nginx deployment for ease. And the second file we will do is mypolicy.yaml. So this is, this will be our rules. Whatever rules we want to put, it will come into my policy file. Cool. Let's go ahead and bring the nginx deployment. Okay. So I am going into Kubernetes documentation to get the nginx deployment example. So deployment. Let's go ahead and see if we get something here. See, here is the deployment example for Nginx. Cool. We will take the same. Cool. And just paste it here. So we have our deployment file here. Awesome. Right. And now uh, I will change the replica to one. So now let's add a rule to this container here we can see the specifications of container the image has a tag of 1.14.2 and we will add a rule that our image should not have a latest tag so uh, the image should be anything but uh, image can have any tag 1.14 1.12 anything but it should not have a latest tag we don't want uh, latest to be faced into deployment simple rule we can do that Let's go ahead and see, uh, add that rule to the my policy. For that, let's head over to Kyverno policies, Kyverno policies, kyverno.io slash policies. Awesome. Now we are at website and we'll just search here disallow latest tag, something like that, and disallow latest tag. So, this policy is already created by Kyverno, so you have to just go here, copy it, and go back here and paste it. You have your policy. Perfect, but we need to do some changes here, right? So let's go ahead and do that changes. If you go to the specifications on like maybe 16th line, you can see it's audit. We will change that to enforce. As the name suggests, we want to enforce this policy. 
background will be true and failure policy is fail amazing now we have our policy return we have our deployment and let's see if it fails cool so now we have our nginx tag as this so obviously it should not fail but let's go ahead and put that as latest and let's see if that fails so for first we have to apply our policy to the kubernetes cluster so k apply minus f uh, and my policy policy.yaml cool let's go ahead and do that see a uh, cluster policy policy is created right this is the policy name cool and now let's go ahead and apply nginx see so because our nginx image had the latest tag here it caused an error error from the server validation failed denied request cool uh, see the latest tag using the mutable image tag example latest so it is not is not allowed it's so it's not allowing us to deploy cool let's go ahead and change that back cool we have changed that back and let's see if we are now able to uh, deploy it so k apply nginx and now we should be able to deploy it see it's created it's that easy so k get deploy and we will be able to see the nginx deploy perfect so if you go back to the kaiwano policies and you can actually see uh, the like the audit to enforce that we did right now and all the different types of policies that are already made for you then you can go ahead for policy categories uh, if you want specific to pod security you can select that for openshift for linkerd anything like that then you can go ahead and for maybe label and just uh, filter uh, out the policies that you want and if you didn't don't get any then you can actually create a, your own policy and customize it so that's how it goes also if you want to check what all policies have been added to your kubernetes cluster you can check that using the command kubectl get cluster policy right and now you can see the enforced one which is disallowed latest tag what all are this this uh, gets added by default so you don't actually uh, add uh, misconfigurations to your uh, kubernetes cluster so they are already there and this is the one which we add which is enforced because audit is by default cool and you can find it here and it's ready and that's it for the kaiwano no tutorial if you liked it make sure you hit that like button it really helps support the channel if you want to stay in loop with all the cncf uh, efforts that are going on then make sure you subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next one bye